Right, guys, we're back for video three. Um, video three, I thought today I'd talk about the organization CPAS in Belgium. Okay. Um, this is one which is just a, a game changer. Um, here you've got a government body that's prepared to um, invest in its people. So basically, um, you know, if people don't have money, but they're registered into the Belgian system, um, they have aid, they have financial aid. And um, going on a discussion that I had with some people as with today, apparently that goes further, that goes into education. Okay, so for example, if I decided I want to do a bachelor's degree now, okay, um, I could do a bachelor's degree and again through the CPAS, okay, because I'm already um, seen as a person who has financial difficulty, um, they will now still not de deny me the opportunity to further educate myself. So if I say to them, right, I'm 47 years old, um, I want to do a bachelor's degree and I'm in the CPAS system. What will happen in that case is I'll probably have to pay a nominal amount, a really small amount, okay, that could be up to about 200 euros. But for that, for the entire year, um, I would basically be able to study a bachelor's degree. Um, and in some instances, again, this is hearsay, I've heard this, but I'll be able to confirm this whether it's true or not on Monday. But I've heard they will even give you more financial um, assistance, something like two and a half thousand euros for the year, okay, to further support you because you are a student and you're studying and you have various travel costs on a daily basis and all of that sort of thing. Um, so again, as I say, this is hearsay, but, um, and I will be able to tell you on Monday, as I said, but... Um, isn't that fantastic? I mean, I never knew this even existed. I mean, I always knew the importance of the EU system, but I never knew that these are the benefits, okay, that they're prepared to give people. Um, that obviously brings on a whole different point, you know. I've been in the UK for a period of time, for about a year and a bit before, um, and there people just abuse the system. You know. um, I was a sales representative for Sky and the amount of council areas I used to go into okay, where these people have been given free housing, um, all sorts of benefits in travel, gas, electric, all of that sort of thing and they're working on the side as well and here they, you know, outside that property I find a Porsche a Porsche in a council estate in, in the UK, okay. So obviously, you know, that's going to be an investigation for a later date. Um, but um, this is what I've heard regarding how much CPAS can assist you and the power that they yield. So um, that is quite exciting. That's changing the playing field for me further. Um, Please, not for the two and a half thousand euros, because I aspire to a bit more than that. But um, yeah, it's 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 really really uplifting. You know, now I can look at things in a different light. <coughs> I can genuinely plan um, the route that I want to take for the remainder of my life. You know, and that may entail that I want a bachelor's degree behind my name if I feel it's necessary for where I'm going. Um, possibly I want to do that just for self-development. It's a nice to have, a nice, na nice thing to have behind your name. Um, but I'll see. But, uh, you know, it's just so uplifting to come from, as I say, a country of birth. Um, and after 47 years to walk into an environment that affords people the ability to keep getting on their feet. Um, is just phenomenal how they 
managed to keep that afloat and not uh, bankrupt the government and make sure that people don't abuse that system, I mean, I think in itself is an achievement. So guys, that's what I've heard. Um, and as I say, Monday coming, I will have that meeting at 9 o'clock in the morning. And then more than likely in the, in the course of the morning or the afternoon, I'll run a video for you guys and uh, I'll tell you exactly what was discussed. Um, and also to remember that what I'm going to be doing is um, all documentations, names, addresses, all of these departments applicable to me, which is in Brussels Central, V de Bruxelles, okay, um, that is what I'll be documenting on. So I'm pretty sure at the end of this little journey, um, these videos will be good for people who are considering making the move. Either you may have dual nationality or you've just decided, you know, you think you've got a better chance at life in possibly Belgium itself. So that's it for me. Have a good evening and uh, I'll chat to you soon.